YouTube, how are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are fine. This video is long due. Um, today is the 19th of May, I believe, if I'm not wrong. And a uh, bit excited that I've recently got my YouTube application accepted. Thanks very much to all of you guys for making that possible. Um, and I think Carlos, uh, it's me Morpheus, I was watching his uh, videos about the partnership. And he was right about the subscribers. <coughs> You don't need subscribers for the YouTube partnership. All you need is uh, channel views, and I had plenty of them, obviously. Went on to the YouTube partnership program, applied for it, and within a few hours, it got accepted. And I'm still looking for people to help me out with the banner and channel design. I think I've got one or two people on that, and uh, really appreciative of that. Um, so this is a new internal hard drive, which I've purchased four weeks ago I think and I've still not had the time to put it in so today I am going to do exactly that uh, this is a 320 gig Western Digital um, hard drive 7200 RPM the reason why I bought this was because the, the standard uh, memory on the MacBook has run out and well not run out, it's still got 10 or 20 GB left on it and I thought I'd get this one not only would it increase uh, the hard drive space, it would actually increase the speed as well of the MacBook because it's higher RPM, or so I've heard it anyway. Uh, I've still got the standard 2 gig RAM, absolutely fine, no need to upgrade that, it's not a problem. Just got a new hard drive and I can't believe how thin that is. That is a hard drive, it is really um, quite remarkable. So what I've done is, before putting this laptop off, what I've done is, I can put this back in, maybe not, I've transferred everything on from here onto this Western Digital hard drive which I also purchased, again it's the 320 gig um, hard drive and just to show you, this is the Western Digital hard drive and this is my iPhone here. iPhone is definitely smaller but this is not big at all which is great because you can carry it about with you. Again this is Western Digital as well. Both of these are Western Digital. Difference is this is external and this is internal. So what I'm going to do is uh, basically I'm going to take out the standard hard drive from here and basically show you guys how easy the procedure is or so I think. No doubt it's going to go belly up. So, put the MacBook over, take the latch off, take the battery out, pull that over. It's actually quite hot because I've just turned it off and it's been on for a few hours. Easy. Uh, put the battery aside. And I think all I need to do is just pull this out. This is the hard drive here. And... So what I forgot to mention before this video is that you actually need a set of screwdrivers uh, for this particular scenario uh, because you've got to take screws out and there's some sort of special screws in it as well which you have to take out so I recommend you getting just any sort of uh, screwdriver set. This is the Rolson 32 piece screwdriver, picked it up for about £5 which isn't too bad and uh, just going to take the screws out from here. It's coming out very easy, and I think that's it. Yep, that's the hard drive out. I'm just gonna take this cable out from the bottom. It's come out very nicely, and here is the new one. So I think I've just got to now. You can see these four screws: one here, one here one on this side and one on this side so you've got to take these out so I'm going to have to chain the screwdriver head from here so I've managed to find the correct head for this particular screw it's actually quite different if you can see that in the video it's not it's not your usual straight or your star one it's actually quite different and I'm just going to unscrew these screws from the side there's four of them so I'm sure it won't take long that's one out I can just do it with my hand, or maybe not. 
that's the second one out. This is kind of pointless, I think I should have just stopped the video here and uh, resumed it after once I've done it. But hey, it's out anyway. And that is all, the four screws are out, and the next thing you want to do is take this slap out, or the slap, this flap out, and I'm just going to put the hard drive upside down on the table, and stick this flap on this side of the new hard drive, because you'll need it next time you take the hard drive out, you'll need uh, to flip it over. And next thing I'm going to do is put these screws back in to the new hard drive, might just stop the video here actually. Hard drive is all nicely put in, everything's screwed up and the last procedure of this is just to put the battery back in. Let me put the camera down for you guys so you can see properly. If I can put the battery in properly. Yep, that's that. And that is it. It literally took me under 15 minutes or maybe 10 minutes which was pretty good. I don't know about you guys, but I hate changing hard drives uh, on computers because it takes up so much time reinstalling everything and you know all your settings go away. So I've never actually reinstalled or installed an operating system on a MacBook. So this will be uh, an interesting um, scenario for myself. I've got all the discs ready for my operating system. I've actually still got the cloth of my MacBook still sealed and um, these are the discs that I got with the MacBook so I'm going to have to reinstall everything and um, that's pretty much it it's a 15 minute video or a 15 minute scenario for replacing your hard drive whether it be your MacBook, MacBook Pro, iMac I'm sure it's all the same thing um, but yeah that was my views or my tutorial on how to changing a hard drive Guys, that's everything installed on the MacBook. Got a right mess on the table, got the screwdrivers here, got the old hard drive here, got the MacBook here, got some random books here. The discs for Mac OS X Leopard are here, my iPhone's here, <laughs> my time machine backup is here on this external hard drive. Um, the cleaning cloth for some reason is out for no apparent reason and um, still sealed. In fact, I got this six months ago with my MacBook. I haven't actually opened it. And here is the book I got out just in case if I needed help with uh, installing Mac OS X again. Which uh, I don't think I'll need um, any sort of help with it. Um, <laughs> I think I should be okay. But hey, thanks for watching this video. Cheers.